Uncle Joe, um, where has the conversation reached within the corridors of power now? And then especially within the campaign of DMB, since you, you are one of the major... Well, DMB has a very solid uh, message for the communities that we've gone to. Let's promote responsible mining. Mm. Okay. Um, responsible mining, everybody is in favor of. Mining in our river bodies and in our forest reserve without permits. Everybody is against it. But Roland, it's not about conversation in the corridors of power. <clears throat> it's about the commitment of government. And, and when we say government, it's everybody. Let's not only make government seem like it's a political head that are government. In a democracy, government is me and you and our political leaders. I don't understand. Now you <clears throat> say it's government you and I have problem. Government is everybody. That is democracy. Government is everybody. So let's not only restrict when we talk about government to only political heads. Look, for me, the, this conversation, right, can be situated in this sense. I don't think anybody can, in an iota of doubt, say that, that another led government has not been serious about fighting Garam Singh. The first act of the Nado government in 2017 was to ban small-scale mining, right? When that thing was done, it was done for almost two years. And when the ban was on, you should see the commentary. You can go, everybody can go online and look at the commentary of what researchers, opinion leaders, said about Galamse, the ban on, they call it the artisanal small-scale mining, right? Today, when that ban was on, first thing another did, we ban small-scale mining, be it legal or illegal. We ban it. These were some of the commentaries by opinion leaders. Oh, young people use artis artisanal and small-scale mining to build their livelihood and accumulate assets. Government ban on artisanal small-scale mining activities led to loss of jobs and financial hardships. Young people unable to aspire to better future because of government ban on artisanal small-scale mining. These are just a few comments by lecturers, researchers, and opinion leaders in this country when that ban was on. Pressure was put on government to lift that ban. And sometime in August 2018, the ban was lifted for people to do responsible mining, which is mining with permits, small scale. Now, something interesting in this country is that every time that the government in 2018 to 2020 has been very committed and serious in fighting small scale mining, our partners in development, our partners in this is the NDC. MPP government is only in one part. The NDC, who is the opposition, cannot. Let me land. The NDC. No, your partners opposition. in development said it can only be well, the NDC I'm just because that we the have politics, other political stakeholders. Well, there have been the I'm emergence of the of, movement okay, so for can change. I, can I say one of them? There's also been the media as well as civil society. Well, okay, you do so, even agree okay. that it's the media that started this fight. So, how no, do you I'm come just, to I'm that conclusion, saying, okay, Mr. Kujoko? Okay, so let me now say that. Okay, let me correct my word. One of our partners in this fight is our political partners, right? The NDC. They will sit on national television and talk about Galamse, but they are members of parliament and they are parliamentary candidates. In the constituencies, goes and fight against the policies of government to win political seats. And I'll give you four constituencies that this happened in 2019, 2020. Everlaw Ajumoro Jura, Upper West Dentra, Akwetia, and Pristia Hunivali. In fact, in Jura, right, in Avalo, Jura, the Galamse people were given, before the 2020 election, right, the Galamse people were giving people 1,000 cities each to vote against the MPP. Now, when you look at these four... The Galamse people? Yes. They were giving the, um, the, the voters 1,000 cities each. And your reporters can go to the constituency and find out. I've been there. And these things I'm How telling much you, did you give the Galamse people? No, why would we give Galamse money? We were fighting. The Operation Vanguard was on the ground in 2019, 2020. And the fight that the government had was on full steam. And all these four seats were MPP seats that we lost to the NDC. In fact, Upper West Dentra West has never voted NDC. The parliamentary candidate today, right, is... Daniel Ohene Dakun, he's NDC. His message to the people was that vote NDC back and we'll allow you to do Galamse. So it's very simple. This problem is here today because we've not had honest partners. He who comes to equity should come with clean hands. 
I don't think that anybody in this country from the child born, if he could speak to the president, is against people polluting, is in favor of people polluting our river bodies and our water bodies. Everybody is against it. But we should separate the two conversations. There are people whose livelihood depends on small scale mining, licensed and responsible mining. They are doing their work. There are people who are doing illegal small scale mining. You want to call that Galamse? Fine, that is Galamse. But let's not call everything Galamse because not all small scale mining is Galamse. If we do that, we now. Mr. Paint... Poku, are you saying here on this platform that the destruction of the environment, the wading into ideally unapproved vegetative forest, and then the pollution we're seeing, we just showed Dinsu, is because the NDC is perpetrating this no, I'm not or saying, is aiding I'm not, I'm it. So what are you that. saying? No, 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 please. You know, when uh, your brother uh, Hughes was showing his video, in one breath he's talking about forest reserves. In one breath he's showing video of water bodies. There are two different conversations. All those letters, all those cabinet decisions, all those things you talk about is in relating to what? Forest reserves. You can mine in forest reserves. The law allows mining in forest reserves but with proper due process. You cannot- And responsibly. Any, no, yes, responsibly. <clears throat> there is no law in Ghana that allows you to mine in river bodies, none. The mining on river bodies is illegal and should be condemned. But let's not be showing documents about people granting uh, in, in, in forest reserves and then show pictures of river bodies, as if somebody has granted somebody permission to mine in the river. I asked a question, you never answered. No, my I, specific but, but question that was is not this. what I said. That's why and I know and 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 what, and what, I said, what I said is, we Are you need, saying the NDC is, partners, is... No, no, no. We need, we, need, we need partners to fight this galamse. What I'm saying is that he who comes to equity should come with clean hands. You can't sit on national television, instigate youth to go on demonstration, and privately go to constituencies and encourage that very thing you are speaking against in Accra. If today these MPs who took their who took seats from the MPP because they promoted um, Galamse, and I'll mention them again: Evolo Ajumrajwa, Upper West Dentra, Christian Hunivali, Akwetia. Right? If these four MPs are prepared to come out and condemn publicly on national television, we will join them in the constituencies to fight because these four constituencies constitute the bigger area of the Galamse in this country, the western part of the country. The upper, upper West Dentra is the upper Dentra West, is the uh, I am free corridor. Now, let the MP, which is the NDC MP for Amenfi Central, come out publicly and, and, and condemn um, Galamse. All these things, we would be able to now join everybody. But what I'm saying is that let not sit in Accra and demonstrate. I'm very sad to see people demonstrating a crowd when the real work is being done where in the mining areas. What Let are you claiming? That they should go and demonstrate there? Th that's, but, Where's but, the seat of government? But hold on. The, who but, takes the, but hold on. the, who takes the rightful say. constitutional no, decisions? but the people doing that I'm saying, it's not government. Okay. It's, 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 okay. It, is, it, is, it, is, it is the youth in community okay. who are Can doing this. Can I ask this. this question? Go ahead. Um, is the government of Nanado Dankwe Kufad and Dr. Mahmoud Baumia, who uh, is his vice president, um, relaxed or decided to be relaxed and very lax about enforcement of key regulations to continue with the gains from 2018, 2019, 2020 because they were afraid they'll lose seats? Not at all. In 2024? Not at all. Okay. The, the, the fight is on today. Right. What I'm saying to you is that the fight is You consider not the pollution fight? No, but hold on. But those, hold on, hold on. There's still Amorbri in Ghana, right. isn't there? Have we not been fighting Amorbri? But isn't there Amorbri in Ghana today? Has armed robbery stopped? Isn't the police fighting armed robbery? I don't understand you. What I'm saying to you is that in certain areas, there are what you called volunteer uh, neighborhood watch. Why is I did neighborhood watch in some areas? Because the police is doing something. The police is not doing enough for the community. So they have their own neighborhood watch. So it means that we're going yeah. to see more pollution no, of our and destruction of, of our water bodies. What I'm saying to you is no, that I'm not putting, people I'm, a who question. wants to Galamse to so stop. So is that what no, it means? People who want Galamse to stop should go to the community and educate, should go to the community and stop being double-mouthed, should go to the community and demonstrate in those communities. Right. Against the youth who are Your doing party, 